Hello again, and it's time for our children's moment uh, for March the 7th in our virtual times of worship. So hello to the young and the young at heart. It's wonderful to get a chance to speak to you. Well, today I want to tell you that I did something this week that I haven't done, well, in a long, long time, years in fact. I was in the grocery store and I went down the cereal aisle. Oh, I hadn't been down there in a long time. And I just couldn't get over how many kinds of cereal, breakfast cereal there was. Do you know how many kinds of, of Cheerios there are now? There's blueberry and chocolate and apples. Ah, oh, it just goes on and on and on. And I thought, wow, I just haven't looked at this stuff for a long time. In fact, I, I was in that aisle and I found something that was very, very strange to me. Uh, but maybe you've seen it. It's, I don't know if you can see that. It's Timbit cereal. <laughs> it's cereal like Timbits. And uh, this one is uh, birthday cake. And actually they have a chocolate flavor too. And I thought, my goodness, there's a lot of variety. When I was a kid, I used to have cereal just about every day. I don't anymore. I, I don't eat a lot of uh, cold cereal at all. In fact, I can go months without having any cold cereal. But when I was a kid, that was something we had just about every day. Normally, though, mom would buy the unsweetened kind of stuff like uh, cornflakes or, or Rice Krispies. But on the weekends, she would often buy us a sugary cereal and we had our favorites we liked captain crunch the peanut butter captain crunch was a big favorite there was one with winnie the pooh on it i can't remember the name of it uh, we used to like that one very much and uh, we used to uh, <clears throat> that box wouldn't last very long with four of us i'll tell you that but i noticed going down the grocery aisle that there's something's changed in the cereal business since i was a kid it used to be when you bought a box of cereal, there was a prize inside. Uh, sometimes the prize was a toy, sometimes it was stickers. Uh, there was even one time I remember there was the prize of a whole pack of, of gum. Uh, it must have been a promotion or something and they had it in there. And we would all, in my family, the kids anyway, we would just love to get that prize. That was a big thing, even though the prize wasn't worth very much. We thought it was a big deal. And I remember how we used to come down in the morning and we'd open the box, brand new box, and we'd stick our hand way down in the cereal to try and find the prize because it was always at the bottom. Or uh, if you were bad like me, you'd pour all the cereal into a great big bowl to get that prize. But then the problem was getting it back in the box. It wasn't easy to do, but that we were determined to get that that prize well you know in the bible jesus talks about the pearl of great price or the treasure hidden in a field he talks about the prize that's available to you and i and it's not in a box of cereal it's not in a box of cracker jacks boy that's that's an old one too uh, old product the prize i'm talking about is the kingdom of god or the love of god in our lives and in the parables that Jesus talks about, he says that we will do anything to get that prize, to get that treasure, to get that pearl of great price. Um, just like I was willing to dump cereal out and reach my hand into a box, we should be willing to do anything to get that prize that God has prepared for us. And the good news is, unlike in the cereal box, there was only one prize. This prize is open to all of us. There's always a prize for all of us. There's a pearl and there's a treasure for each one of us. So I hope in your life you will look for those things that are most valuable, most treasured, and always they come from the hand of God. Always. Let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you that you love us so much that you have given us a pearl of great price. You have given us a treasure hidden in a field. Father, help us to chase after that treasure, to claim it for ourselves and to share it with others. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Well, uh, take care and we'll talk to you again. God bless you all.